Last time I vlogged was last night, um, going to my dinner, which, by the way, so good. If you are thinking about going to Rowie's in the West Village in New York City, 10 out of 10 recommend. The atmosphere was great. The food was great. It was awesome. Service was phenomenal. Um, but yeah, today's vlog is going to be a little bit different, or I should say this next couple of days of vlogging is going to be a little bit different. I am leaving for my trip to go to Austin, Texas tomorrow. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm meeting a couple of my friends. They all live in Boston, and I think one girl lives in Philadelphia. So I'm really excited for that. Um, I'm kind of going to be spending half this, <laughs> half this vlog packing and like planning everything I need to get done. Um, and then the rest will be like the trip and everything. So I am only bringing carry-on. So I have to, I'm trying to get creative with outfits. And also Austin just got hit with a major snowstorm apparently. So I don't really know what to pack. It's going to be in the 50s, which is not bad, but then like 30s at night. So it's kind of going to be the same as New York City is now. But um, yeah, so I have a little bit of work to do, but like I just wanted to do like a quick little intro. And then guys, also I have been struggling with my forehead so bad lately. Like that, I usually don't get breakouts on my forehead. Like if I break out, it's always on my chin like a little bit. My forehead has been like hurting and... I don't know if it's considered cystic, but like it's just like break the breakouts have been so bad and nonstop for the past like month and a half, two months. So I finally got a prescription called in for tret tretinoin. I think that's how you say it. I've, a lot of people have recommended it to me. So I'm hoping that helps just because like obviously acne happens to everyone. It's totally normal. It's fine. But it's definitely just making me more uncomfortable and just like lack of confidence now. But yeah, so that's going to be called in soon. But I'm going to go finish up working. I have like a little bit of a break from work. Probably in like an hour after my meeting. And then that way I'm just going to, you know, like start packing. I just realized this is not focused. Okay. Um, I also have a cut on my lip. Just ignore me. I'm like down bad right now. But so yeah. I am going to be packing like a, I have a Marc Jacobs like the tote bag tote. So I'm going to be packing a big thing of that with like toiletries and just like general little things. Like stuff I need for the flight and just whatever and then carry on i'm just gonna plan outfits i'm waiting for my friends to text me back first to tell me like what they're planning to wear just so i have a general idea i don't own cowboy boots so i'm just gonna bring like regular boots and hope that works yeah we'll see but um i'll pick up the camera again once i start packing and getting into it but i am excited Good morning. It's um, Thursday. I'm supposed to be on my way to the airport right now. I got home from touring a bunch of apartments last night. And um, my flight was canceled. So that's perfect. I, <clears throat> I called United and tried to get rebooked for a different flight for today, but there's literally nothing. And now I have to leave tomorrow, which means I'm gonna miss like all day tomorrow, which kind of sucks. Um, at this point, I'm just like debating if I even should go. I've been looking forward to this trip, but like if I get there tomorrow, if there's any cancellations or delays, I'm not even like, I'm literally just gonna have Saturday and like Friday super late at night to do stuff. So it's like, because I leave Sunday morning. So I'm kind of like, oh, are you kidding me? Luckily I didn't pack yet because I procrastinate with everything, but I don't know. <clears throat> I'm supposed to leave tomorrow at the same time I was supposed to leave today, so we'll see. Um, now I have an entire day of nothing. I guess I'll just pack. Yeah, I guess I'll just pack and then figure it out from there. Um, I feel like everything is just like not going right right now and I'm getting very frustrated. I keep trying to tell myself like I'm a lucky lucky girl or whatever but I don't feel so lucky right now I toured five apartments last night did not like any of them <sighs> yeah so um 
I'm going to make coffee to try and revive my energy and then I'm actually gonna go pack so see you in a minute okay we're just gonna completely ignore my hair and my appearance right now because I'm honestly just I'm in a wave of using blush liquid blush as a lip product so I don't know if this is going to do anything or blend. Okay. I don't know if that did anything. Um, if you hear noise in the background, I'm watching Anna Hyde. Well, I was watching Anna Hyde. Now I'm in my room. Because I have to pack... I need to do it now before I am not able to do it later mentally. So I have a list. Apparently a couple of my friends are already in Austin right now. Uh, they got their flight moved. I got mine rebooked for tomorrow. Uh, okay. I got mine rebooked for tomorrow, but uh, it's, it's the same time as I was originally supposed to leave today, but tomorrow. So I got that moved up instead of arriving late. Um, and we got our dinner reservation moved back a little bit so that I can go to dinner since my flight tomorrow doesn't get in until like 4.30, 4.45. What are you doing? He knows whenever I'm leaving on a trip and he, he does this thing when I'm gone and he'll throw up somewhere in my room when I'm out of town for a couple days out of spite. So I'm really hoping he doesn't do that this time. That would, that would be the last thing I need, okay. So I made a checklist of everything I need to bring because I'm that type of person. And my group chat's blowing up right now and I have like 70 messages from them. I, they're, they're not important, but. Okay, so for my toiletries, which I usually just bring this tote bag. So I usually bring that and I put like my toiletries, stuff on the plane, like headphones, um, a book, but I have my Kindle now, so I won't need a book that takes up a bunch of space. So I need to pack toothbrush, toothpaste, which I'm gonna do tomorrow so I can like brush my teeth and my hair tonight and tomorrow. Um, deodorant, I'll pack that tomorrow too. Skincare, I have little trial sizes, so I'll just throw those in there and then like use my main skincare tonight. Um, I have a travel size little perfume that I can bring just to have like something that smells good while I'm there. My vitamins, I can pack that tonight. Um, Jewelry, I'll just wear all of that on the plane. My makeup, I'll pack all of that. I just need to pack two going out outfits for Friday, tomorrow, and Saturday night. I think I'm just gonna bring like a pair of jeans and leather pants. I might bring like a, like a leather skirt and then my thermal leggings because one of my friends who's there right now said it's as cold as it is in New York and Boston in Texas right now, which I'm kind of confused about. So I'm gonna bring tights just to be safe, but like I also wanna have like a skirt option in case it works. I think I'm probably going to bring like three or four going out tops just because I'm usually very indecisive. I'm going to try to get like a solid outfit idea together for both nights um, just to save myself the space. So I'm going to pack super quick now. I'll pack my personal bag and then I have to eat something and then get motivation and probably have more coffee to pack my actual suitcase. So yeah, let's go ahead and get this, let's get this going. So for makeup. I usually just do this little makeup bag because it fits easily in anything and it just has like all my brushes. I used to just pick and choose what brushes I think I would need, but I, I realized that that that's, <laughs> I realized that that is like kind of an issue because I would always forget like something that I needed that was important. So bring my flawless filter, my Fenty Beauty blush, Benefit highlight. These two mascaras that I use, which are the Better Than Sex and the Telescopic L'Oreal one. Two for my cream blush, just to have like a pinker one and then like more of a ruby colored one, I guess. I think this can go, yeah, this can go on a plane. Huda powder. I love this stuff. This like makes my pores literally disappear and my it makes my makeup look so good. Eyeliners to do like the inner corner of my eye. I'll probably just end up bringing all my Charlotte Tilbury. So I have Pillow Talk, Love Trap, Iconic Nude. I'll just bring this maracuja. Okay. So this is what we have for makeup. This is all of it, just like in a little pile. I'm just gonna throw it all in here with my brushes, so. It's good, my Kindle is charged, I'm pretty sure. I don't even remember. Kindle. Okay, so here's the checklist. 
I'll get my mask. So, Kindle, phone charger I'll pack tomorrow. Camera charger, I think my camera charger is actually over here. So that's already fully charged. Put that there, my SD card and everything else. My portable charger is here. And my keys, I'll leave these out just because I might go somewhere later. And my wallet. I'll just put both of these on my counter for now. In case I go anywhere before I leave. SD card, camera cord <clears throat> for my portable charger. It's like pretty much what I'll be bringing in this bag. And then Aquaphor, because again, like my lips get really dry and my AirPods. So that's good to go for now. That's like already pretty heavy. I'm gonna eat something really quick, get some more energy, chug my poppy, and then I'm gonna grab the rest of my clothes. And then I'll just like start packing all my clothes and stuff just so I can be like packed and ready to go for tomorrow because I do have to leave pretty early. I have to leave at like 10 o'clock to take the train to Jersey, so. Okay, I ate something. I finally have like a little bit of motivation to pack. I mostly want to pack right now just so I can like walk around. I want to go to Tribeca and there's a couple places that I want to go to in Tribeca for like clothing. I'm going to pack now. I really do not know what to wear. I'm definitely going to bring my Aritzia pants. Is that my cat? Check this side. I'm just going to look for tops right now and then figure it out. I'll probably bring this top. It's like a little off the shoulder. It's cute with that and then I can just wear a jacket. So that's an option. This top that Sydney and Kirsten got me for Christmas. It's so cute. It's from Urban. It's really see-through though, so I don't I don't know what to do about that because it I mean I could do like nipple covers, I guess, and then like a jacket. I don't know. We'll pack in, we'll see. Okay, I'm back. I went through Pinterest and TikTok and just looked at outfits that I have saved that I would want to wear. Um, I'm not gonna bring these. Yeah. Bodysuit. And I know it's gonna be cold. I'm gonna layer and figure things out. I'm gonna bring this top too. This like little turtleneck thing to wear with a skirt. I'm basically just bringing like black. It's supposed to warm up tomorrow apparently, so that's promising. That leather jacket. And my Princess Polly one. And then I'm gonna wear my puffer on the actual flight. I feel like that'll be fine. Right? That'll be fine. And then for shoes, I'm just gonna wear like Air Forces on the plane. This is a sweater I'll wear. It could be cute and fun. And would match with like things. And shoes, I'm just doing booties and like thigh high or knee high boots. Time to bring all this to my room and pack. So, okay. We're back. I'm going to start packing. I have these cute little packing cubes that I got from Amazon, like, over summer. They definitely help keep everything just, like, organized. So I also grabbed this top that I'm going to bring as an on another layer under it just so I'm not cold. I'll also just be wearing a jacket, too, so out. Um... from Zara. For just to give a pop of color. And then I'm just bringing this pleated skirt and then a leather skirt. Um, and I'm gonna bring like thermal tights too. I 
this is gonna close. So that's what I'm bringing. Look how cute Mr. Blue is. We're good to go. I'm so excited now. We are heading off to the airport. It's like 10 o'clock. Uh, it's gonna take me an hour to get to the airport. My flight's not till one. Board's at 12.30, but I'm trying to get to the airport at 11. Um, we'll see how this all goes. I'm very excited and just happy to be leaving, so. Just got to make it easy. Morning in like 30 Good afternoon, minutes. ladies and gentlemen. And welcome to... That was a journey. In and out. They're not doing it for me. They're kind of hardboarding. No. What do you rate it? Salt pockets of the sesame. Without the salt pocket, I'm going to give them a four. Oh. And with it, a five. Oh. That's not good. I wanted to see the shirt. Do you like In and Out? I've never had it. Don't, we don't, don't recommend don't it. Money. Don't waste it. I'm going to get sick. I wish I didn't buy that. Oh my god, this lighting's horrendous. We are finally here in Austin. I'm so excited. We went to In N Out. It was not very good. I'm gonna be honest, I've had it before, but a couple of the girls haven't. But we're just getting ready now. And we're about to go out. I'll do a OTD with everybody, but I wanna show you our hotel. It's like an apartment. So here's the room we're staying in. It's huge. There's six of us staying here and only two bedrooms, so figure that out. Bathroom. And then there's a foosball table. Couch. It's so cute in the kitchen. Literally like what? Literally a speakeasy and it's disguised as this. Kind of sketchy. Interesting. Clown, and I said I saw. Holy shit, they're so good. We, Why are they so good? They're really good. The cake donut. Oh my god. Do you like it? Yes. Oh so my god. Fun. Trisha, Trisha yes, yeah. the vegan. How do we like her? <laughs> Mine is gonna be so messy. I'm putting this here for now. Hang on. Oh, Emily, you got blueberry too? I got blueberry too, but she also gave me my Captain Crunch. I have. I am screaming right now. You know how many times I'm bad at to walk myself here? Wait, the blueberry is so good. Oh my god. gonna have a stroke. <laughs> yeah. A literal stroke. Like this is not a drill. I gave the middle one. Why does my water taste like coffee? I love that we showed up to our breakfast reservation at 11 and um, power outage. Power outages are closed but we found a coffee um, food truck right across the street so now we're debriefing and getting coffee. So this is, I love this for us. I'm 
cute little thrift store. Oh. It's on there. It is. <laughs> like if you the one with the Dr. Pepper. That looks dad. so cool. Oh, wait, I'm gonna get it. Look at Dude, did you get Maya bacon soda? Oh my gosh, she has to try it. Should I buy it for her? <laughs> Sorry. Wait, this place is literally so cute. sunset my camera ran out of storage but we just came back from drinks and walking around this area is really cute I'm gonna go out to bar hop soon I'm so excited it's Maya's bachelor oh, oh, oh it's a video yeah the hat is from Nash bar we love <laughs> did you bring the veil oh beautiful wait give us a little twirl again we love to see it oh absolutely amazing what do we even know what bar we're going to right now? No, I'll have to them. Okay. Well, we're on our way to a bar. We're gonna finesse men with Maya's bridal shower and Kirsten's boobs. You think so? <laughs> okay. No, it's okay. I can find it. <laughs> yes, that's what we like to see. Bye, bestie. <laughs> I'm so tired. So apparently Blue threw up on my bed while I was gone. My roommate was so nice enough to clean my comforter for me so that it didn't stain. He has separation anxiety, so this isn't anything new, but um... Yes, I'm talking about you. You threw up on my bed. Yuck. So, I got back from my trip to Austin yesterday. Um, it was a long travel day. We left at like 6am. And our... Yeah, our flight was fine. It was quick, but then taking the train home and everything was whatever. Um, I'm really happy to be back. Austin was interesting. I don't really know what I was expecting, but it was cute. Yeah, it was cute. It was, like, fun. We, I was only there for, like, maybe 36 hours or something, so I feel like I didn't really get the full Austin effect um, to really form much of an opinion. But... Um, on our last night, we went to a place called Buford's, and my friend Kirsten and I, like, absolutely love Ken Urich, if you follow her on TikTok or Instagram or whatever, um, and I saw her boyfriend walk by, and I was like, wait, I think that was her boyfriend, and then we turn around, and I see her blonde hair, and I was like, oh, 
that's Ken Eric. Oh my god. Oh my god. I, we started fangirling, but we were like, should we go up and say hi? Like, we don't want to bother her. She's having fun. She's like having a night out. Um, so we we're like walking to uh, the other side of the bar. I just tapped her and I was like, hi, I'm so sorry. I don't want to bother you on your night out. I just want to say like my best friend and I absolutely love you. And like, we think you're hilarious. Um, and she was so nice. She like sat, gave us a hug. She was talking to us for like 15 minutes and she literally just felt like one of our friends. Like she's very normal, which is nice. And then we were talking to her boyfriend um, and her assistant Trent, I'm pretty sure it's her assistant nicest person ever we like got drinks together at the bar literally such a sweetheart they were all so 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 nice um it was so sweet for them to just like take their time to like sit and actually talk to us instead of just blowing us off because i've met some other people who are like on social media that are just so dismissive of people who like them so that's always like disappointing they always say like don't meet your heroes or whatever but it was a great experience we did get home so late we went to food trucks after we left the bar and we got home in like we probably went to bed at like three or four o'clock and then we had to wake up at six so that was extremely brutal um but i'm happy to be back and now i can get back into my routine i had an interview for a promotion at my job this morning so fingers crossed that that works out so i have like my hair and makeup all done up um everything happens for a reason everything happens for you not to you so i'm just really hopeful about that Rooming situation and apartment hunt is also up in the air, so that's a whole other thing that I'm just going to deal with off camera because whatever. But I just wanted to close this vlog off, and I hope you enjoy the clips. I tried to vlog as much as I could, um, but I feel like I got like a decent amount of like some of our antics that we got into. But um, yeah, well, thank you so much for watching. I hope I can do some more trips soon and like share that with you guys. But... If you have any recommendations on other places to visit for like a girl's trip or just like even a solo trip because I'd be down to do that, um, drop that below. Let me know. Um, yeah, but thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Love you. Bye.